All right. Guys, we have patch notes today. Supposed to be a lot of fixes in this hot fix 4.0.0.2 activities that are getting fixed. Europa sabotaging salvation fix an issue that was blocking players from completing this mission. Also, the throne world temporarily disabled deep site tier three chests that were being opened far more quickly than intended for throne world vendor reputation gains. Honestly, you guys, what was that? We had like five days, five days of that. So, hope you got the rank ups. Fix various holes in the world that were allowing players to get out of an environment. Also, strikes. The light blade, the hive boat, now starts up properly, even if the players try to skip past it to the first hallway section. The wellspring attack fixed several issues that caused the back middle wizard during the boss fight to sometimes get trapped inside the pedestal below, blocking activity progression. Public events. Fix arc shields on a heroic ether harvest boss to properly react to arc damage. There's attorney. Fix an issue where the activity progress could fail when starting the lightning round. Fix an issue where scoring UI would not appear in the regular Dares of Eternity and Lost Sectors. Fix an issue where Legend and Master Lost Sector activities were missing from Bungie.net Game History APIs. Of Queens and Worms, fix an issue where joining late into the quest would not grant progress, blocking the player from acquiring the Parasite Exotic Grenade Launcher. Campaign, they fix an issue where Resident Room was used using a placeholder icon as far as gameplay and investments go abilities fix an issue where titans could generate large amounts of orbs of power by rapidly entering and exiting sparrows while triggering ward of dawn bubble that sounds like a cheese forever bug right there man uh fix the cataclysm icon size to fit properly in the player hud weapon crafting here we go fix an issue where the crafted weapon triumph counts were not being displayed properly for certain weapon types Fix an issue where mementos could drop from activities before players had unlocked weapon crafting. I thought that was pretty good, though. Fix an issue where Gambit Memento was not dropping for players who have not purchased the Witch Queen. Updated crafting material name to now read correctly as Drowned Alloy instead of Drowned Elements. Fix Enigma crafting perks to use the correct currencies. All right. As far as weapons, here we go. Grave Robber has now been re-enabled for Glaives after being temporarily disabled due to ammo generation bug. Okay, so now it should be working. Grave Robber should be working now, right? That's what I'm getting from. Should be activating with the light attack. Uh, Hunter Dodge can now cancel out of Glaive melee animations. Okay. Fixed a bug where Funnel Web was displaying incorrect magazine values when comparing perks in the inspection screen. Fix an issue where some foundry weapons only have their source origin traits. Oh, wow. Okay. Fix the rag, rag hilt shotgun, rag and hilt shotgun to display the correct zoom. So is it no longer a high zoom shotgun? The correct zoom. Was it not showcasing its actual zoom? Someone confirm on that one. Is that a nerf? Are we talking? A, is that a shotgun nerf? That shotgun, the shotgun's a kinetic shotgun. It was hitting up to nine meters. It's doo-doo. They nerfed it. It's, it. What they're saying right here is display change. We'll test it. We'll test it. We're, we're getting close to the god roll, like, to, to make the enhanced version of it. And we'll test it to see if it still does the nine meters. It does not reach nine meters. Less, we had multiple people in here yesterday that said that the Ragged Hill shotgun could reach up to 9 meters kill. Could they be lying? Possibly. Uh, fix an issue with the Hockey Palomero rocket launcher has missing incorrect stacks. Fix an issue where the Fortismo had a higher magazine count capacity than intended. Fix an issue where the Alacrity perk to prevent it from persisting when the weapon is unequipped. Ah, oh, so it's persisting even afterwards. Wow. By the way, Alacrity works in Rumble and Lost Sectors. Solo. Uh, fishing issue where the Fortismo shotgun had an incorrect magazine size. This would only have been visible with the magazine increased perks or mods. Adjusted weights on legendary weapons available on Banshee 44 so that new roll pool weapons have an increased chance of dropping. Fishing issue where the Glaive melee kills did not count toward Glaive kills in player's match history. Ooh. Fixing issue where the Outlaw perk appeared twice in the first column for a Crisis inverted hand cannon. Second instance has been replaced with under pressure. Okay. Armor. Sealed Hopcar's grass no longer reloads Glaze magazine on dealing projectile damage. Well, wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. So it would auto reload with Hopcar. High stat armor rows have been added as rewards for player elected difficulty campaign missions. 
fixed descriptions of voltaic mirror exotic perk uh lordly splendor helmet will now create a sunspot when casting a barricade it will still grant a sunspot when critically wounded but now requires and will consume a charge class ability cooldown interesting it now requires a charge class ability cooldown this is both a nerf and a buff yeah you could self activate it but it is a nerf it is a nerf all i all i can say for my fellow titans rock max resilience now okay i don't know why i don't know why yep bunch of you already nerf sunspots sunspot damage is kind of shite now in pvp it's an issue where the overload rounds mod was not disrupting the health generation of overload champions when recovering from a stun fix an issue where the reduced damage debuff from the renewal grass exotic was only briefly applied should now affect enemies for duration that they remain in the dustville grenades aoe updated renewal grass description and icon all right so fix an issue where the reduced damage debuff from renewal grass was only briefly applied wow okay so this this exotic hunter hunter exotic is going to be even better fix an issue where the virtuous cloak looks rigid and not free flowing all right yeah so so buff here for the renewal grass exotic nerf for the lordly splendor um helm yeah i don't really understand why they did that i really don't bounties made some vanguard void bounties not available during void burn weeks um uh, oh made some new vanguard bounties not available okay Fix an issue where void volatile explosion kills were not counting for objective progress. Reduce the completion values for some war table repeatable bounties. New light. Fix an issue where the quest meditate on the light can remain stuck in a player's quest log if they received it from the postmaster and meditated before retrieving the quest. Players in this state will now have the stuck quest automatically removed. Meditate on the light can now be abandoned and will no longer go to the postmaster. The player's quest inventory is full. Fix an issue where the riding the storm subclass quest for titans and stoking the flame subclass quest for hunters were no longer available at Ikora. Eververse, they also fixed an issue where the Phoenix Cradle ornament required ownership of Season 8 to purchase. Rewards, fix an issue where the seasonal exotic ship did not have a source to drop from. They also fix an issue where relative drop changes were not showing properly for Ascendant Alloy and reward previews. Okay, so I think before when you would go look at things like the um, weekly campaign missions at harder difficulties and the master version of uh, Wellspring, it would not actually show what the drop chances were for Ascendant Alloys. It just showed it as a drop chance. So I guess now it's going to be like, you know, uncommon, common etc uh hdr they fixed some bullshit with AD hdr not sure if that's actually going to fix it i don't know if you guys use i tried using hdr here recently it just it just does not look good uh general ghost was confused and upside down during the meeting with kaido <laughs> ghost may or may not still be confused but at least it's no longer upside down during the cinematic there we go fixed an issue where players are not able to exchange synth core for synth weave at the loom uh, they also increase the cost of pulling weapons and armor from collectibles to prevent farming gunsmith reputation. Uh, rare 777 glimmer, legendary 1000 glimmer plus 10 shards, exotic 2500 glimmer, 20 legendary shards. Okay. Fix an issue where the night chill shader was not displaying correctly. Fix an issue where some names were not appearing correctly in the partner section of game credits. Various stability and crash fixes. Localization, Spanish, Castilian Drifter, and Ghost are fully re-recorded to replace sound-alike actors. Fix an incorrect translation for the Quick Axis Sling we Weapon mod in German. The German description on some racers says melee hits activate the perk instead of melee kills. Alright, so... As far as I'm reading right now... Ascendant Alloys is only mentioned once... It just says fix an issue where relative drop chances were not shown properly for ascendant alloy and reward previews. So no drop fix. I thought so the drop fix is coming next week. Okay. Um Master doesn't have uh, a Senate alloy as a drop anymore. What? The campaign? 
campaign, it doesn't show any, it doesn't show up as a Sentinel anymore. It just shows the high stat armor common. Dude, what the shit? It just doesn't show up. It's like it's not a reward. So legend. Okay, so hero is showing ascendant alloy is rare. Legend is showing ascendant alloy uncommon. I, it's gotta be a. It's just gotta be a uh, an a, a UI bug. Has to be a UI bug. Yeah, we're gonna run one right now, and see if we don't get it. Oh, we only got gold though. I got one. You did get one. You did get it. You you did get an ascendant alloy. Les. Yeah, he got one. Okay. Yeah, I got one. <clears throat> All right, well, chat, what we were trying to confirm was whether or not we got only gold on that one, okay? So, obviously, we you need plat. Um, I don't know. We must have missed a champion somewhere. But the, the point is, what we were concerned about was that, see, it says Ascendant Alloy rare, Ascendant Alloy uncommon, and then it doesn't show any Ascendant Alloys. What we were concerned about was that Ascendant Alloys didn't drop from Master anymore. We didn't, you know, I because it's not showing it as a reward. My thought on this is that um, it looks like they only have two menu options showing. And so they didn't have uh, enough room to throw in that third. Obviously, they sent an alloy underneath it. Maybe they just didn't make room for it. But it seems like it's a UI error. Yeah. Um, plus, it's showing two high stat Verity's armor as common for both of these. So obviously, a UI error. Yeah. And speaking of which, the armor that dropped, are they? Did y'all get any high stats? Mine was a helmet. Mine was 62. It's not bad. Hmm. Okay. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.